Sakura Ko. Minasan, konnichiwa, Sakura Ko desu. So you might wonder who this guy is. Let me firstly introduce today's guest to you guys. He is a friend of mine I met when I was in Canada. He likes to play soccer. He is such an easygoing and lovable person, but also shy boy sometimes. <laughs> so please welcome my friend, Toshi. Hey guys, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you, I'm Toshi. I'm glad to be here, thank you, thank you. for inviting me here. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you here today. Okay. So thank you so much for your time. Yeah, me too, me too. It's my first time, like on YouTube, so. <laughs> nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> just relax. Okay. Just, just you do you. Okay, okay. I'll just relax and try to have fun. <laughs> so the reason why I'm having you here for is to interview about roughly your life. Mm, okay. Like mm. how you grew up in Canada, Mm. I didn't tell you guys, but he was born in, grew up in Canada. Yes. So can I say you are Japanese Canadian, or yep. should I say you you are Japanese who grew up in Canada? Ah. Because that's what you told me the mm. other day. Like, well, when I texted him about this interview, that is there anything that you want to talk about? And he was like. Well, I imagine myself talking about Japanese who grew up in Canada mm. and I thought your identity is Japanese. Mm. And I also thought, oh, I shouldn't talk about you as a Japanese Canadian. <laughs> I, I sort of considered about it, but... Mm. <laughs> I think... Um... I don't know, I think it's because I've been living in Japan for like seven years now mm -hmm. that I'm starting to forget like my Canadian self. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, um, I do still consider myself Canadian. Okay. <laughs> so you can call me Japanese Canadian. I, okay, yeah, cool. I, I won't be offended or anything. It's okay. fine. <laughs> so, like how you grew up in Canada, yes. what was your identity, and life in Japan, extra, mm. extra. Before we begin the mm. interview, this video is gonna be quite long video, so I'm divided into two parts. And in this video, I'm gonna be asking him about mainly his life in Canada. So, are you ready to start? <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Bo, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? like? Well, like easy introduction. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like my background yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah so um, I was born and raised in Canada, but my parents are Japanese. So my parents immigrated uh, over to Canada and then I was pretty much born and raised there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I grew up in Canada until... So I went to school in elementary school, middle school, high school, and then university. And then after university, you know, I kind of want, felt like, you know, I wanted to change. I wanted to live in Japan. And then that's why I moved to Japan. But um, basically, like, what should I talk about? Like my child, childhood? Well, mm. I'm going to dip into it, like, really quite soon. So you okay. don't have to really talk about that. Okay, right okay, now. okay. Yeah, but based on uh, sucking But if we want to talk about it, <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I grew up in Canada, my parents were Japanese, so obviously when I was young, I was surrounded by, you know, a lot of Canadians. Yeah. And I was like the only Japanese person in my class. There was one or two other Asian people, but you know, other descents like Chinese or Korean. Okay. But I was like the only Japanese person there, so I think that's why I considered myself really Canadian there when I was young. I didn't really have a Japanese identity <laughs> back then. Oh, you didn't? No, 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 like my parents are Japanese, mm -hmm. but like I was always playing like with like, you know, Canadian friends or, you know, always speaking English. And I didn't really have like, what's Japanese meme time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the only time I spoke Japanese was with my parents. And then, you know, I couldn't really speak that well in Japanese. Like I can have a casual conversation, but like it was way more fun playing with my friends in English. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, I'd be just speaking English. So I think that 
in my childhood time, I was more Canadian, I would say, <laughs> than Japanese. Which mm. language did you prefer to speak? Um, I think English. English? For sure. Mm, you got... I mentioned like, you know, at home I spoke Japanese, right? Yeah. And I think my parents wanted to, you know, get me fluent in speaking in Japanese. So right. they started making me watch like Japanese animes or like Japanese variety shows. <laughs> I think that's why, I mean, I liked speaking in English, but like there's still something in there like, oh, it's Japanese, you know, <laughs> this is Japan. So I think it's kind of like, hey, 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 don't forget Japanese. My parents are doing, yeah. Uh, you know? Or Japanese, don't yeah. forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like, I think if they didn't do that, I would just be like, speaking English all the time and wouldn't have any interest in Japanese at all. What's like to live in Canada as Japanese Canadian? Oh, uh, okay. Like I could explain mm. whole day what's like to live in Canada from my point of view. Yeah. But everyone has different perspectives. Like everyone sees things different way. Yes. So can okay. you tell us about it? Um, I think uh, for myself, I was obviously Japanese Canadian, but um, most Canadian people looked at me just like, they were saying like, I'm Chinese, you know? I think you probably went through it as well. Yeah. But um, I think a lot of people think like, Asian equals Chinese right. in Canada. And you know, I mean, I guess they have a point. For us, we're like, we don't look alike at all. <laughs> but like, I guess for them, we look alike. So I mean, okay, that's cool. But like, um, yeah, that was, I think one of the things like, people were saying like, oh, are you Chinese? It's like, well, no. <laughs> but for me, like, I didn't really feel like it was like, I don't know. Like some people say that's racist or like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, some people get like, Right? But like for me, I didn't really have that. It's like, for them, it's, I look Chinese and it's like, okay. For me, it's like, okay, I don't really care. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it was like that until like high school. And then, I don't know, for some reason, in high school, university, more people started to recognize, like, other Asian, like, oh. countries. Mm -hmm. Like, are you Korean? Are you Japanese? Are you Chinese? And I think that has to do with, like, you know, Japanese animes being broadcasted in Canada. <laughs> like, Dragon Ball. Oh, oh. oh, Dragon Ball. It was huge. So it's like, oh, are you Japanese? And I'm like, yeah, I'm Japanese. Like, oh, really, man? Like, oh. I love Japan. I love, you know, I love Dragon Ball. I love Naruto. Then. <laughs> oh, really, then? And I, you know, I only watched Dragon Ball, so I didn't know anything about Naruto, but like, <laughs> like oh, cool, man. <laughs> so ever since high school, I think being a Japanese Canadian, I felt more Japanese. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then more friends and more people would start talking to me and more, it started to become a little more. They started to get interested in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like as a Japanese. Yeah, exactly. Like part of Japanese. Exactly, exactly. Whereas before, it's like, are you Chinese? Do you speak Chinese? And they don't know anything about like Asian <laughs> or Asians. Yeah. They sort of judge you by your parents. Yes, 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 definitely, definitely. Might be interesting. Okay. Well, you've already answered this question without me asking you. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. No worries. Same question is okay. As growing up in Canada, have you wondered who you are? Ah, nice question. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, a lot. A lot. Like, am I Japanese or I, am I Canadian? Yeah. Like when I, of. yeah, when, especially like in elementary school. I think it's just because like, you know, appearance wise, I'm different. You know, everyone's, you know, they're Caucasian, they're white, Canadians. Mm -hmm. And like, I'm Asian and I'm playing with them. I'm communicating with them, but you know, I look different from them. And my parents, obviously, because they're Japanese, their English is not as good as other parents, right? Right. And for me, like, it was a little bit like, oh, why can't you speak English, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I had that feeling, to be honest, yeah. Like, I knew, I knew I was, like, Japanese or, like, but, like, I'm also Canadian, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm playing with, I'm in Canada, so I'm Canadian, right? But am I Japanese? You know? There's all, it, it was there. It was always yeah, there. Yeah, never really became a problem because I think I got along pretty well with um, all my friends. Even at school, I like I can't remember being bullied or anything. Like you know, a lot of maybe other pe places being the only Asian there, yeah. people say they might get bullied, right? Yeah, but I've heard that a lot. I guess I was really lucky in that sense, yeah. where a lot of the students in my class they just looked at me as Toshi, 
Yeah. That's good. So for me, it didn't become that big of a problem, I felt. But of course it was there in me, like, who am I? <laughs> Always. We already talked about how you got interested in Japanese. Yes. That was because your parents who let you watch Japanese t TV, TV shows, TV show, anime, something like that. Yes. But other than that, how did you keep up your Japanese in environment where you spoke more English? Ah, uh, I think for me, the only way to do it is to force yourself to speak Japanese, right? Mm. Like you have to speak Japanese, right? For, for, in my case, it was Japanese. So like, I was very lucky. My parents ran a Japanese like grocery store yeah. and they would hire many Japanese people from working holiday, like Sakurako. <laughs> That's where we met. <laughs> That's where we actually met, yeah. yes. And you know, I would be helping out at that store. So I think for, for me, that place, that environment was like my place to speak in Japanese. Mm. Mm. And, you know, that's where when I started becoming like 20, 21, 22, you know, people at that age come to Canada, right? On working holiday. Right. And, you know, it's like the same kind of age. We're like the same age and it's like, oh, I want to talk with you more. I'm more interested, <laughs> you know, you know, and you want to talk with these kind of people, right? And that's where I think my Japanese kind of really, really, really grew a lot. Uh, uh, is that environment. Like skyrocket? Yeah, for me, for me, my, I don't know if it actually, like the <laughs> level wise, I don't know how it skyrocketed, but for me, it's like, pff, like it just went up. Uh, like my Japanese skill and my job, my interest mm. in Japanese. Mm. Mm. I actually don't remember what I, if I ever spoke in English to you when I was in Canada because you always uh, when I saw you you were always hanging out with Japanese friends yeah. that you met yes. at Fujiya yeah. and my English wasn't as good as I can speak right now and I, I still feel but I felt nervous and I felt like I couldn't make a mistake uh, in English yeah. because I was also at English language school yeah. and I always got nervous mm, by that. Yeah. And I didn't like it. <laughs> right, 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 right. So whoever I can speak Japanese, I just speak Japanese. Right, right, right. And for me like I don't like to be say, oh your your English really good. Ah uh, right, 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 right. Yeah. And I think for Japanese learner, they don't like to hear oh your Japanese is good. Mm. But I didn't really, didn't come up to my head yeah. that your Japanese is really good because it was so natural. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then you, I thought you were Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were, you were a child of Asami-san, Koji-san, you were a parent. Yeah. But I, 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 I think I assume you speak Japanese. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. A lot of people just assume because of how I look. No, 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 no. Because how, like, I did, I didn't think that really? way. Oh, really? I think just because you, you are raised by Japanese parents. Oh. Not just because of how you look. But like, if you would, like, if you were a stranger and you would see me for the first time, you would probably speak to me in Japanese though, right? Like, you won't speak to me in English, will you? Uh, depends where I am. Uh, if you're in Japan, though. Oh, if you're in Canada, oh, okay. If you're in Canada, okay, never mind. If I were in Canada, yeah. I would speak English for the first time. With yeah, that's true. That's really true, yeah. yeah. If I was in Canada, that's but true. But if, if we had met in Japan, mm. I probably would have spoken Japanese. Mm. So, it depends on where I am. <laughs> so, this is the last question okay. in this video part okay. one since you teach kids soccer with english yes there's a lot of parents ask you about you how you grew up or your like childhood how you raised something like that mm. i have to bring this question <laughs> um, thank so you this is for them okay thank you it's about education what are the differences do you think in education in Japan and Canada? Mm. Like, first of all, I want you to tell us how you got education in Canada. Okay. So like I mentioned, I was in Canada until university, right? right. 
So I guess in a nutshell, education in Canada is compared to Japan more free, freedom. Duka, like I can't remember the exact data, but like I know most people go to university in Canada. There's a high percentage of people who graduate up until university in Canada. Really? Yep. Mm. Mm. I don't know, but there's pretty high percentage. It's like I can't remember the exact data, but it's high percentage of people who go to university mm -hmm. and they graduate. And so having a degree is pretty big in Canada. And because of that, for me, going to school was like actually preparing for a career, I felt like, okay. mm, in Canada. From like elementary school? Or Especially from high school. High school, mm. okay. From high school, like a lot of my friends had like career plans already set. Ready? Right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. But for me, it's like, oh my God, really? <laughs> like I had no career plans. Like I'm not saying everybody had career plans, but a lot of my friends had an idea of of what they wanted to do as a career. Mm. So I think they're more mature, but obviously on the other hand, there's like people like me who are, oh, I don't know what to do, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I think, you know, in Canada, education is free until um, high school, right? Right. Public education. Right. And then depending on your grades, you can get scholarships. Unfortunately, I was not that smart, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, luckily I got a soccer scholarship. So for me, going to university was playing, wanted to play soccer. <laughs> I didn't really have any career plans, yeah. You didn't study hard that much? I did not study. <laughs> like, I did not How study. How could you graduate then? I don't know, I just did well on tests, you know? Okay. I just studied when I had to study. And then like wow. other times I did what I wanted to do. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap out this video, but before we do it, last question was for your students parents about education and many parents want their kids to be able to speak English like like you guys fluently and and in order to do it what they need to do mm, that is like the number one question I get <laughs> <laughs> like living in Japan and people knowing me I mm. speak English <laughs> so uh, obviously it depends on the child personality and how old they are and things like that but I would say the most important thing is like we mentioned like for them to become interested in English right, right. so in order to do that we got to do there are many ways to do that right, right. Like for example like um, parent becomes interested in English and then together together with their child they would you know do something in English or yeah. listen to an English song or you know do an English dance watch English you know anime shows you know things like right. that so that that's definitely one thing and but I think at some point you know kids they don't want to be with their parents you know it's like oh, I'm too cool <laughs> to be with their parents I want to play with my friends you know? so I think at that point when they reach that stage you gotta kind of let go but you have to provide them an environment where they can use English so obviously the most ideal situation is like a place where maybe same age, mm -hmm. you know, somebody like if, the, if your child is five or six, somebody around five or six year old play together, for example, mm -hmm. you know, that's like the most like super duper ideal situation. But obviously that's kind of difficult in Japan. <laughs> mm. So for example, like, you know, there's many tools out there right now, you know, like online English classes or, you know, going to like English schools, but not just, I don't think like, if your child likes studying English, that's cool. That's fine. That's how they do. Yeah, that's how yeah, they that's do it. That's the way they do. Yeah, yeah like yeah. if they like that, then I think that's totally fine. Yeah. But like if they're not like that, then you know what I do is like you know, use soccer as a tool for them to learn English, you know, to become interested in English. And there's I think more and more thing schools like that that are starting to pop up here and there. So trying to find something that fits with your child is the best. I right. think because mm. there's just so many options right now True. so it might be difficult to choose but like actually like saying okay my child likes soccer or my child likes dancing okay dancing is there something to do with English you know maybe dancing in English you know there's like dance English schools right now right? Yeah. as well soccer English schools there's many kinds of options out there so figuring out what's best for your child I think is let them try be. first exactly let them try try it out and then figure out yeah. What they fit in. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. If you
you're in Japan, yeah, I think that's. I think you are in Canada, learning Japanese to the other way around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Try to make Japanese friends. Yeah. Best way is definitely to make friends in that country. All right. I'm gonna finish this video for now. If you like this video, please give us a big like, really big like. And this video is just part one. Part two is coming soon. So please stay tuned to the next video. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so oh, much thank you. for being here. Thank Toshi. you for having me. <laughs> did I do okay? You did great. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye. Bye bye.